It's a study on a very rare disease that is called POMS syndrome. A POMS is an acronym for certain of the many features of this disease. Usually it is a osteosclerotic myeloma and it's rare because it's about 1% of uh, myeloma. And uh, the, the main feature is a very severe neuropathy and uh, without efficient treatment, patients are, are, are bedridden after two or three years without an efficient treatment. And there is an algorithm in this disease to treat this disease that have been proposed by uh, Angela Dispensary for the Mayo Clinic. Uh, you have to look if there is a bone marrow involvement by plasma cells, and if yes, you have to give a patient a systemic treatment, and you have to look at bone marrow lesion. If there is one or two bone marrow lesion, usually sclerotic, and no bone marrow involvement, you can irradiate this lesion with good result, but a very slow improvement in, uh, in the neuropathy. And uh, when you can't irradiate the patients, the best treatment is high dose treatment with uh, high dose melphalan and autologous stem cell transplantation. So it's well uh, known now. And we take this algorithm and we try to, to define uh, 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 the best treatment possible and we use lenalidomide. And it's very interesting in this disease because it, it has a very good anti-plasma cell effect and anti-VEGF effect. Vascular endothelial growth factor is a cytokine that is elevated in most of the patients with, with uh, this disease and it is responsible of many uh, features of this uh, disease and it's correlated with the activity of the, the disease. So we try to enroll all the patients with a POM syndrome in first line or relapsing refractory, uh, we need to be treated. And we enrolled 50 patients in, uh, I think, uh, between 2012 and 2017 in 19 centers all around France. And uh, for patients who can be irradiated or who can receive an high dose treatment, we uh, gave two cycles of Lendex. And for patients who can be waited, who can receive an high dose treatment, we give nine cycles of Lendex and one year or Lend alone at low dose, with a usual uh, dose and usual prophylaxis uh, like in myeloma. And uh, we, we looked at uh, the biological response at two cycles for all patients and at bi biological response at nine cycles for the group who didn't receive high dose or radiation. It's a little bit complicated, uh, a study a little bit complicated. And uh, we look at VHF level, which is very good marker of activity in this disease and hematological response. And uh, we look at other features, if we can have a rapid response, neurologic response in particular. If we can uh, avoid uh, engraftment syndrome, which is very frequent in this disease when you use high dose treatment without any treatment before. And uh, we look at the neurological response with some tests, and in particular the 10 meter walking test, which is very easy to, to, to evaluate the, the neurological uh, disease. And the main result is that uh, most of the patients have the biological response after two cycles with a drop very important drop in uh, VEGF. And we compare VEGF measurement in serum and plasma. And we have 70% of response in uh, serum, 77% in plasma, and complete response, normalization of VEGF in one third of patients using uh, serum measurement and uh, half of the patient using plasma. And it translates in uh, many neurological response very rapid response that is not usual in this disease. And it's the main interest of this strategy is to have a rapid neuro neurological response in patients with a severe neurological uh, disease. And for patients uh, who were treated only with uh, Lendex, we have something like 70% of patients responding, but we have not a very good PFS with seven relapse at the end of uh, treatment. Uh, for patients we receive high dose treatment, the results were very good, 
we lost one patient from bleeding. He fell down in, uh, fell down in his womb during the uh, aplasia period. But we have, after only one relapse, with uh, I think two and seven years of follow-up, and that's interesting. Many less relapse that when you do uh, the, the IDOS treatment uh, first line. And for patients who were treated with uh, irradiation, we have two relapse. One in the patient who have uh, bone marrow involvement, so it's, he was not. It was not a, a good idea to include him in the radiation group, and one at four years. So, good, good uh, results. So, uh, we think that it's a good strategy. The, the only major problem is the risk uh, of thrombosis. We had two venous thrombosis, and we have two uh, arterial events. Uh, when one patient had a stroke, uh, and uh, a second one and a very severe uh, multi, uh, many uh, cerebral embolism and maybe with a vascular uh, in the brain and she died after one week of uh, lenalidomide. So you have to be very careful. She was a very sick patient with uh, thrombocytemia and polyglobulia and uh, you, you have to be careful using lenalidomide in this disease where there is a lot of stroke. A paper from the Mayo Clinic uh, found 14% of patients with POM syndrome and a stroke, and uh, we only had 4% in our study, but we have to be careful with that. And for patients treated only with Lendex, we think it's a good treatment, but it can't replace uh, IDOS treatment when we can uh, give in. And uh, the comparison plasma and serum. It's more sensitive in uh, serum and more specific in plasma. We had three patients with normal VEGF at uh, inclusion with serum and seven uh, or eight with, uh, with plasma. So as it is an important uh, tool for the diagnostics, it's better to use uh, serum at the, at the beginning.